Hello and welcome back and today I want to do another before you buy and today I want to talk about QNAP NAS and surveillance. I want to give you five reasons why I think you should consider QNAP NAS for your next NVR network video recording surveillance system and five reasons why you might want to give them a miss and go somewhere else. But before we go any further, a few disclaimers straight off the bat. First, we do still have building work behind us. I know I keep saying it, but it's true. I do video, uh, I record a lot of these in the course of one or two days, so I can edit them later. So unfortunately that is still happening and I will try to remove as much of that sound as possible, but some of it may leak through. Secondly, a lot of this video, I'd say about 90% of it is gonna be on this screen. We're gonna be utilizing my laptop here where we are going to be looking at the QVR Pro software from QNAP because it's gonna be very hard to talk about their surveillance software in any meaningful detail without actually showing it to you. So the bulk of this video is going to be done on my laptop there. And as we go through this video, a lot of the time, although I am gonna to flick to a lot of the camera feeds, the mic is gonna be here. I've had to, to close in the recording area. Sometimes you are gonna pick up the fan noise from the laptop a little bit, so I apologize for that as well. But let's go straight into it. We're utilizing a 653D for today's video, and we are utilizing QVR Pro and a few cameras, and I'm gonna give you five reasons to go for them and five reasons to give them a miss. So let's get straight into the screen, and I'll start talking about these advantages and disadvantages. So. The first thing, and one of the best reasons I would say for a lot of users why they choose QNAP and QVR Pro is to do with their camera licensing strategy. A number of their uh, solutions here, particularly the Intel powered ones, arrive with QVR Pro and eight camera licenses. Right there, you get eight camera licenses by default. That is six more than practically every other NAS brand who are producing this kind of fully featured solution there. And so even though their camera licenses aren't the cheapest, knocking around for about 30 to 50 pounds, depending on where you shop around, it's worth highlighting that you still get eight by default, even on the devices like the Tubay 251D, which is a 250 quid NAS with an Intel dual core processor. Even that has eight camera licenses. So again, a lot of you that are looking at having a setup for your surveillance needs, those eight camera licenses are gonna be an enormous deal breaker for you there. Reason number two, that you might want to consider the surveillance platform from QNAP and QVR Pro is a KVM setup. Now, KVM, keyboard video mouse, is the ability to connect a HDMI monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse to the NAS, and it allows you to um, control the surveillance platform directly from the NAS that it is connected to. You don't have to just rely on the network and the internet, although both of them will allow you to connect remotely with the right security credentials. It's just nice to have that third option where you can connect a keyboard, a video and a mouse and control and access the full camera feed like I'm showing you here on screen over HDMI as well as remotely. It's something that's available on pretty much any Intel powered or AMD powered NAS from QNAP that has an HDMI out. We've done a full test using the QGD301416 P, awful name NAS, um, showing that to you directly. Reason number three that you might want to consider the QNAP platform for your surveillance needs with QVR Pro is because their platform has a number of AI supported services in facial recognition and more that are available on a myriad of systems. This, for example, is an Intel Celeron powered NAS system, but it's worth highlighting that this system has facial recognition options built in. You do need uh, to install a graphics card in some NASs that need a bit more power. And of course, the performance of AI powered real time facial recognition will use a lot of resources. So the performance will differ depending on the device. But if you go for some of the even lower price PCIe and GPU um, powered, uh, GPU equipped and GPU upgradable QNAP NASs such as the 73 a series and the um, the 32X series and the 72X series, a number of these devices allow you to install graphics cards that allow you to use a lot of that horsepower towards surveillance, not just relying on the embedded graphics of the CPU inside that NAS. Compared with a lot of other brands that will only give you AI powered surveillance support 
on specific models and of course I am talking about the Synology DVA series it has to be said that having these AI equipped add-ons and there's also QVR door and there's other QVR add-ons in beta currently in progress that give you a much more AI assisted real-time recognition surveillance platform really good for saving time on going through old recordings reason number four that you might want to go for the Synology platform and this is more for your home users is Q USB cam 2 the ability to connect USB webcams you might have knocking around and then add them to your surveillance platform so as you see there I've created and we'll go for that live feed there I've connected a USB cam I think it's a C920 um, one of the HD Logitech cams and I've connected it via uh, a USB port and there on Q USB cam 2 I can see that camera and even share that link if I choose but what's really interesting is if I go into QVR Pro I can add that camera and as you can see there if we look at the feed I've added that USB camera to my available QVR Pro feed and I've even enabled some of the zooming in options and there's some analytical stuff take screenshots stuff like that and save those locally if I choose all of the configuration and control options that we go into a lot more detail detail on on other videos um, are available here and you can use them on a simple webcam with a USB cable I even use a 20 meter USB cable um, with a Logitech USB cam and it worked perfectly fine it's a nice extra option for a local base camera to be living next to the NAS for security purposes. Uh, reason number five, final reason that you might want to consider uh, a QNAP NAS with QVR Pro for your perfect NVR system for surveillance is that there are just more cameras supported. Once you're adding cameras from um, your local area network that you connect, you will generally find that there are more cameras on the supported list of cameras from uh, QNAP than on uh, Synology, Acer Store and other NAS brands. Now, you're not seeing any here because I've already added them all. But generally, most other NAS brands have two settings. They'll either let you add cameras that are on the supported list or that are on Viv, O-N-V-I-F, which is when it's using default camera staple and logic to add the camera. You won't be able to use a lot of their features and services. The QNAP platform I've generally found has supported more cameras and their individual hardware features than most other brands. And that means that when you are going into a camera, and more specifically if we come out of that search and we go into the range of like for example motion detection a lot more cameras that i've utilized on the qnap platform have allowed me to use their inbuilt features and services than um, other brands would only allow you to use the nas software as an overlay onto those supported services so yes there's a lot more options readily available to you on the qnap platform there but it is not all good. There's lots of reasons why you might not find the QNAP surveillance platform is kind of the one for you. And one of the earliest ones, and ones that gets touched on quite a lot early doors, is the fact that the QNAP surveillance platform doesn't really have a fantastic camera interaction and feed via the web browser. Now, you may have noticed in the early stage of this video, every time I've talked about the camera feed, and playing with the camera and maybe looking at pan tilt zoom i've opened up a web client on my desktop now that is because the desktop client is really the only way you can play with these cameras whether you are using kvm um, a keyboard video mouse and you're using the hdmi client or if you're using the mobile client device all of these require you to install an application on the device you are using your laptop your tablet your phone your mac your whatever that means but if that if you are using a device that you haven't installed the app on or you don't have access to installing the app the best you can do to access that camera is either share link to it and open it in another tab or go into some of the local access settings here to see the feed it is not ideal um, there are a few other ways to do it on the main control panel here when you go into uh, um, the alerts, but it doesn't have the live active feed that the Synology platform has. And ultimately, the ability to, you know, pan, tilt, zoom, control all of the camera's actions and get a better view on the fly without an, a client app. And if you are accessing the cameras 
on a different machine, if you're using a mobile device that has restricted access, that in turn will mean that you have restricted access to the controls of the cameras and more in your local area environment. Just simple things. The ability to pan, tilt, zoom and control my cameras without using a client device like this that I have to download and install separately. Some people are not going to be as in love with that as an idea. Next, another reason you might not want to consider the platform, and this is going to be very dependent on the platform you're using. If you're using um, the QUTS platform, the ZFS QUTS Hero uh, file system from QNAP, or if you're using other systems, you may find that you have to make a choice, depending on your NAS, between QVR Pro and QVR Elite. Or even if you're using um, uh, a non-Intel x86 64-bit uh, process, you may be restricted to Surveillance Station. Now, because of that, the, your surveillance experience, depending on the QNAP NAS you go for, will differ. But one of the biggest, more notable examples is QVR Elite. QVR Elite is their enterprise-grade surveillance platform. It's designed to run utilizing far less resources, and it has most, if not all, of the features of QVR Pro, but in this Elite form, it manages to do it with a lot less um, utilization of CPU and memory. There's even talk on there of it being supported on ARM CPU devices. However, you only get two camera licenses, in Elite. So those eight lovely camera licenses in QVR Pro are exchanged for far fewer camera licenses on Elite. So again, I understand they've got to fund the platform, but there's still no avoiding that that drop in QVR Elite, and sometimes you are forced to have that choice if you're on a system that is the ZFS platform, or if you're on the platform that's ARM only, you will be restricted to the QVR choice that you make. And sometimes you might want the system that utilizes less resources, but not at the expense of six camera licenses. <clears throat> Reason number three that you may not want to go for a QNAP um, NAS with QVR Pro is because your budget may be tight enough, and we've already sort of touched on this, that you are looking at a NAS that has only an ARM-based processor, 32-bit or 64-bit, which means you can't use QVR Pro at all. You won't have access to QVR Pro on an ARM NAS. It's just not available. So that's for a lot of a deal break, a big deal breaker for small shops and operations where they're looking at one and two bay ARM NASs that like the sound of the eight camera licenses and um, high performance of QVR Pro, but find out that all they can get is either surveillance station or in some cases, QVR Elite with either fewer camera licenses or a far less uh, uh, evolved and slick user interface on Surveillance Station, which feels a little bit legacy by comparison. Uh, reason number four that a number of people may not want to go for a QNAP NAS for surveillance, and that goes into the lack of uh, the client applications not having the configuration options you would like. Now, I've already done a mobile overview video where I talked about the mobile applications for um, the QVR Pro software. So whether you are looking at the desktop client like this um, for a Windows system or a Mac system, or you're utilizing the mobile applications um, with QVR client for Android or iOS, what you will find is those clients don't allow you to set up alerts. The amount of configuration and options for a camera, looking at this camera, for example, if we look at the options available to us, we can't actually tailor those alerts very much. We can't create patrol patterns. We can't muck around with a lot of the features. We can't ultimately configure our surveillance option. As the name suggests, you are a client. You are a client and the NAS is the host. Only on the host, via the desktop, I'm sorry, via the web browser here, can you configure a lot of those options. There are added downloadable extras with QVR control panel here that allow you to change some of those options as well, as well as security and failover support. All of them are available to be downloaded, but on the whole, there's no avoiding that configuration 
and altering and creating new tailored alerts can only be done with the direct interface here, which, let's not forget, has weaker live camera feed control. And that seems kind of um, a catch-22 there. You want to have great camera control and the ability to tailor and create um, and amend your uh, security alerts and control patterns, but it seems that you can only do one of those on the browser in its most effective form and the other one via the client on its most effective form, not together. And for a number of you, that parity and that parallel setup nature may be quite uh, um, deri derisive and not really appealing to you for your MVR setup. And finally, the fifth and last reason that you may not want to consider QNAP and QVR Pro for your surveillance needs is it's not quite as intuitive. Now, I say the word intuitive there, it's actually twofold. The client is incredibly intuitive. Everything's where I expect it to be. And on the client side, everything feels right, flicking to playback on old recordings. Everything feels very natural and organic. But in the case of flicking towards the desktop um, browser here, if I'm using Chrome, for example, things don't feel as straightforward. They've made vast improvements, and it's certainly better than that of Surveillance Station uh, for QNAP a little while ago. But a lot of the event management, motion detection, a lot of the options don't feel as intuitive as they did on the Synology platform. And again, do check out my QVR Pro versus surveillance station video but the options are a little bit more hidden i would say and if not hidden the if this then that side of things where you'll say um if for example there is motion detected or an input alarm or any of these things then you can say something else happening uh, and then you can say if for example this camera uh, detects motion then I want it to give me uh, an alert such as one via a push notification or email. This all seems quite straightforward, but the minute you go into things that are a little bit more intensive, like are all these supported ones, you're not given a lot of explanations about why some things aren't working, such as audio detection here. I've got cameras here, all of which have audio in and out, and all of them are on the compatibility list. Yet, nonetheless, they don't seem to appear here. And a little bit more investigation shows us that add-ons have to be added, that the camera needs to have those settings activated on its own, for in this case, Rio Link user interface. And this isn't really explained in the clearest fashion. And it, that kind of slightly less intuitive nature compared with the, frankly, handholdy, chewable, friendly Synology platform may be something that puts a lot of users off. The same goes for the responsive time um, of things on this user interface. We talk about not being able to see our camera feeds without the client. Well, even when we do um, not in the client, if we go back into that web browser there, if we do go into the camera settings, things still don't feel as intuitive and as one click and you're done as you might like. And it does have a slightly higher learning curve, a steeper learning curve even, compared with that of the um, Synology platform to which we will always make the comparison. But that has been five reasons why you might want to consider QNAP NAS and QVR Pro for your surveillance needs. And if you want to learn more, go to links in the description and find out more about this software along with all the other devices that we've talked about. There's my butt there on that screen. Um, alternatively, uh, there's five more reasons why you shouldn't or we've gone through there and they aren't all deal breakers. But nevertheless, they may be reasons why you may not want to go for QNAP with your NVR surveillance solution. But do check out the links in the description. Check out my full overviews on all of the surveillance platforms and software I've talked about. Click like if you've enjoyed the video. Click subscribe to learn more and I will see you next time.